Welcome back to Fast Gadgets and continuing videos on the MacBook Pro 2008. So as discussed before, um, the MacBook Pro was running version 10.6.3 and I do have um, 6 gigabytes in this of memory so I've upgraded it from 2 to 6. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put El Capitan on it and see how it goes. I know some people don't like it, um, but it does have everything updated. And I could probably put Yosemite on it, but my other Mac's running El Capitan and it seems to be fine. Although I have to say this version of OS X is very fast. But I'm going to go ahead and do the download and see how it goes. So I'll keep you posted. Uh, wish me luck. Well, I ran into a small snafu already. Um, unfortunately, I'm on 10.6.3 and I need OS 10.6.8 or later to actually do the upgrade. So I'm going to have to do a minor upgrade first, um, which shouldn't be a problem. So I'll do a minor upgrade and then we'll go from there. According to this, upgrading is pretty straightforward. All I have to do is click the Apple icon and do, whoops, that's Safari, I want Apple software update. And this should give me hopefully at least 10.6.8, in which case I would then be able to upgrade to uh, El Capitan. All right, so it knows there are some available. I'm going to agree to the legalese. A mere 1.09 gigabytes, which kind of makes me laugh because that's a huge update just to be able to do an upgrade. But that's the nature of computers, isn't it? I think I'll set OS X El Capitan to download after it does the update. Um... And in another video, um, actually I'll just add it on to the end of this one. I'll do a uh, upgrade to El Capitan and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for tuning in. Well, a little update here on my update from 10.6.3 to Snow Leopard 10.6.8. Um, when doing the update, if I use the feature to update here uh, it tries to update to 10.6.8 and unfortunately i have this problem stuck at restart when i'm grading so looking on some of the forums what they suggest essentially is downloading the complete combo pack of the upgrade from 10.6.3 to 10.6.7 <clears throat> which i'm downloading now and then doing the 10.6.8 combo update. So we'll try this one first, see if we can get it to work. Basically what was happening is after restarting, the system would just hang with the beautiful starry background here, and it would just sit there. So hoping this will work, I'll keep you posted. All right, here we are rebooting from the 10.6.7 update from 10.6.3 so the help on the internet uh, on the apple forum definitely helped and should be able to update this to 10.6.8 and then shortly thereafter i'll be moving the macbook pro 2008 to el capitan and in a later video I'll be installing um, an SSD, which I have. I have a uh, 256. I'm going to take a quick look here. Uh, the system's booted up. And do uh, about this Mac. 
and we have successfully updated to 10.6.7. So um, we'll continue on. I have the updater downloaded already for 10.6.8. So I'll run that and let you know how it works. All right, well, we're back from the installation of 10.6.8, which actually went fine. Uh, there was no problems installing it over 10.6.7. And what I'm doing right now is downloading OSX El Capitan, which I'm hoping is going to go smoothly, uh, at least more smoothly than the 10.6.8 minor upgrade did. Uh, I actually expected that um, such a minor update would not be a problem, but um, computers don't exactly do what we think they're going to do. Um, at any rate, so I'm going to go ahead and restart the system. So OS XL Capitan is completely downloaded, and I'm pretty excited. I have it on my other MacBook Pro, and I do like the feature set on it. I know some people have said there have been problems with it, but I've had pretty good success with El Capitan. I have not had any slowdowns, although in benchmarking, um, it has been just a little bit slower than um, what I experienced with Mavericks. So there is definitely a slight difference, but I think that is the price you pay if you want the features and the ability to add the latest software. So we're going to get ready to do the reboot and we're going to start the install. All right, we're back from the El Capitan install. Um, everything went perfectly fine. The only problem was, of course, that it took a while, but I don't really consider it a problem so much as just being patient. And here we have the uh, OSX El Capitan install. And being that it was a Core 2 Duo, it was a little bit slower, but I have to say it went well. I have my MacBook Pro 2011, which I did the El Capitan update on, and that did take mm, maybe 30 to 40 minutes. This install took maybe an hour, um, which, you know, I was just sitting watching TV at the time, so I have to say, overall, it did very well. Uh, in a future video, I'm going to do some benchmarking. We're going to have a look at how the performance is. I did do some benchmarking. I did uh, Geekbench, Novabench, um, and Blackmagic Disk Drive benchmark in Mavericks <clears throat> prior to um, upgrading. So I'm going to have a look and see how well it performs under El Capitan in comparison to Mavericks. And um, I'm pretty excited to get the SSD in there. Um, it definitely is slow, um, just to give you a, a hint of my coming video. It actually, unfortunately, uh, speed-wise was 36 megabytes a second, which is just awful. But thank you for watching. Um, please, uh, if you could, like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, um, be sure to drop me a comment and let me know. Thank you very much.